Just because you're in Japan doesn't mean everything you eat has to be classically Japanese, does it? One of the things that I like to do when I'm in another country is try Western fast food, but their version of it. And since we're in Japan, it only made sense that we do a little investigation of the fast food places we know from home, but here. And when you're going to do something like that, there's only one place to start. One. McDonald's! So one of the beautiful parts of trying uh, fast food that you're familiar with in other countries is you can, you can check out a whole different experience. And I'm telling you the experience here at this McDonald's was insane. So we come in, uh, they, they see us looking around, they, they uh, usher us to an open space at the, at the register. We order, they hand us a number. And I go, you, you bring it to us? And they go, yes. Where does that ever happen in any other McDonald's in America? I, I don't think it does. So we take our number. Then a woman comes over and she says, how many? I say three. She found us a table. She found us a table. It's like a restaurant. Please come. Here's a table for three right here. They bring the food out. And this is just going to it's gonna blow your mind. I got a drink. They brought a water. Just a little cup of water. So here, let's just try one at a time, starting with the corn because this is simply sweet and tasty corn and it's basically niblets oh I don't see a fork uh, okay we'll take a third of a point off for no fork but it's basically like it's niblets and you know what it's sweet and tasty no lie cute if you're worried about carbs, you just come in and uh, and have a sweet and tasty corn. That I'd advertise is sweet and tasty. And crisp, they should add that. Okay, but let's begin. And we'll begin with the egg cheeseburger. <laughs> egg cheeseburger. Here we go. It's a lovely soft bun, much like a filet of fish. My beloved filet of fish. And so there's... The clearly cheeseburger and there's the egg cheeseburger part we look inside there's sauce pickle egg and we have a bite it's like a cheeseburger with an egg on it I mean no there's uh, as advertised I suppose flavors not so different. It's just like a cheeseburger with an egg. Okay. I'm going to save that guy for a second. But next, we're going to go with the teriyaki chicken burger. Look, I could have a, a Big Mac, but why do I want a Big Mac in Japan when I can have a teriyaki chicken burger that clearly has plenty of teriyaki sauce, leaf lettuce, a little mayo, hope it's cupy. And this is chicken. Did I say chicken? Teriyaki chicken burger. Hmm. It's a uh, it's nice teriyaki flavor. The best part of it is it's not too sweet. Often, teriyaki is way over the top of sweetness. And that makes me crazy. I don't like that. We're coming to this guy. Let's go to the shaka shaka chicken. I had no idea what this was. We had to get it. And it's basically a ta-da, it's a chicken patty. Just, hello, random chicken patty in a bag. But I mean I think it's a good option if you just feel like something like that. It smells nice. A little bit of sight seasoning. A little bit of seasoning. Well, It's tender and juicy. You can't ask for much more than that. And super crispy on the outside. I like that. Okay, hold on. Hearing mine. Check this out. So clearly these are fries, right? Not so exciting. And the test is taste, and it tastes exactly like a McDonald's fry anywhere else I've ever had them. But here's what you do. You take this bag that they give you. You put the fries in. Like this. 
And then you take this red pepper seasoning packet, open this kit up, and this you dump in the bag. Close up the bag carefully and go like the instructions say. Shake. It's noisy. And then here's what you get. Oh, now you get nicely seasoned fries. The crew can't contain themselves. That's really good. You get nicely seasoned fries. The taste. Like slightly spicy sweet red pepper. Yum. It's like a it's like a little red pepper flake. Tiny bit of cayenne, but with some sugar. Actually that's really good. That takes the fries to a super crazy delicious level. But what we've been waiting for, what I've been waiting for, is the Ebi filet. Ebi is Japanese for shrimp. So check this out. You may be expecting... I don't know what you're expecting. I don't know what I was expecting. So sesame seed bun, lettuce sauce, and the filet patty made of shrimp. When you bite it... Mm. It's all shrimp. It's like, it's a shrimp burger. I guess they take shrimp, mash them, form them, bread them. It's like a, well, it tastes like a filet of fish, except with a slight flavor change from fish to shrimp. But you can actually see, you can actually see, maybe they're not ground or anything. You can see shrimp pieces in there. Like, I see shrimp. Mm-hmm. All shrimp in my mouth, he said. It's the name of my new band. Whole shrimp in my mouth. What have we learned? We've learned that uh, this McDonald's is packed. People all over, all over, all over, walking, walking, walking. We've learned that the service is like a restaurant. They seat you. They bring you your food. They're super kind. They're really polite. The food is it's McDonald's, but 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 more interesting. You're not coming here for gourmet, but you're coming here for McDonald's. But try it. Don't come here and have the same thing. And we'll end with a sip of a uh, blood orange soda. But what the hell is this person doing? I see this girl standing here with her hat looking all cute and everything. But what that, what's that guy doing? Where's that guy's hand? I could have drawn that a little better. Because he's clearly looking at her. Weird? Weird? <laughs> I don't like uh, fizzy things. I never have soda. The flavor is good. And it's pretty. But I don't dig the carbonation. He said wearing a beer t-shirt. But this is just the beginning. There's lots of fast food. So I woke up this morning here in Osaka. And it was cloudy and it was rainy. And I looked outside and I'm, oh, it's going to be way cooler. So I put jeans on. Turns out... It's the worst decision I've ever made. I've never been fucking hotter in my life. My jeans are sticking to my legs. I just want to rip everything off and walk around naked. But I'm pretty certain that won't go over very well. Hey, she was cute. She's cute. Oh boy, I gotta get out of here. Sorry. Next up, oh, Wendy's. Which by the way, they have not stopped doing the square burger thing. It's years. I give them credit for that. I mean, really. Who makes a square burger? Quick. Only one place. Oh, I can't do that. Okay. I'm gonna order from the machine, I think. No good, it's gonna come from this. Ordering from a machine. You see this? I got a machine to order from it here. Oh, I need a person. Hello. Oh, hello. Okay, could I have uh, one of these? One of these? The barbecue? Uh, what is that? Is it, what is it? Oh, Western English menu, thank you. Okay, so that thing is a, uh, hey, oh, sorry, no, 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 not this, the carbonara. That's good. The coins, please, can we go to a coinless society, please? 
I have a shit ton of coins. Can we please just go to a coinless society? Everybody just rounds up. It's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Does that make sense? Oh, this is us. <laughs> this is the wine. This one. This one. Look it! I don't know what I got. Okay. This one that says special is special. We're saving that. So we'll start with this one. It's an egg burger that I thought we needed to try because we just did that one at McDonald's. Difference is this one has obviously bacon on it. Oh, weird looking bacon, man. So we'll have a bite. Okay. That's not, they got to work on that. That's not attractive. And they don't give you napkins. Stand by and need a napkin. McDonald's, they seated us and there were napkins. Okay, so this is, uh, it's, it's, it's forgetful. Put this down. Let's go to this guy next. And what drew me to this one, this is called barbecue. Okay, so this is the mic that I normally wear underneath my shirt and it keeps falling out because I'm sweating so f***ing badly here. Oh yes, it's, it's a little rainy and it's completely overcast and it's 2 million percent humidity. So I'm going to turn this guy off and then we're going to go to the mic on Max's camera so the sound will be different but I'll be used to eat properly.
Once again, you could come all the way to Japan, come to Domino's and get a, a pepperoni pizza. They'd make it for you, you'd probably be very happy. But why are you gonna do that? I'm not gonna share everything, I'm just telling you. The pizzas that we've ordered involve uh, shrimp, Korean beef, and octopus. <laughs> because that's what you do.
when you had a menu like this. That's what you do. You go for it. Ah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, I appreciate it. Let's see what we got. Number one. Hey, Max. Check this kit out. One, two, and three. Shit. That was so anticlimactic. Am I not doing this right? <laughs> Hold on. Oh, I got it. Ready? We'll try this again. Ready, Max? One, two, and three. Ah. Octopus, octopus, mushrooms, shrimp, cherry tomatoes, olives, parsley, and a little uh, tomato sauce on there. <laughs> octopus. Octopus. All right, a piece. Oh boy, it's hot. Ah, this is gonna be bad. Let me take. Oh, stick that octopus. Ow. Sh Ow, God. Can you octopus down? I can get it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Don't worry about it. Five second rule, please. Everybody just chill. It's Japan. If there's anybody's floor that I'm going to pick up a piece of octopus, it's going to be a Japanese floor. Look at that cheesiness. Wow. That's good. Okay. Where you go? You plant it right there on the bite. Here you go, Max. How's that look? I suppose if you hate octopus, it's going to be horrid. But I love octopus. Love. Mmm. Shrimp too. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, so the octopus is not nearly as tender as some octopus we had the other night in Osaka. But still, the flavors with the shrimp and the cherry tomatoes, I love hot cherry tomatoes on a pizza. It's really good. But wait. Well, wait. One, pizza number two. Ready? One, two, and son of a bitch. Why can't I do this? One, two, and are you kidding me? Ah, oh, look at that. Black tiger prawns, char-grilled beef. Boom. Now that's a damn fine looking pizza, isn't it? Look at these guys. This is making me happy. Let's get right here. I probably should have let this sit a bit. Beef is falling off. Oh, it's hot as hot as balls. That's a stupid expression. Why are balls hot? Well, mine were the other day actually in Osaka. It was it's so hot right now. I think it's <laughs> okay, first you get the the char grilled beef. Shall we? This is like a chair from my elementary school. <laughs> I feel like a little kid. Can I have a bite? Yes, little boy. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Just a little Sammy. You know, mm. before I ever bit, as I was putting it in my mouth, I could smell char grilled beef. It was really good. That's what she said. <laughs> 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 all right, all right, stop. Stop. Okay, now you get a bite of the char grilled beef with the black tiger shrimp. Like this. Damn. Mmm. Hands down so far. I'd buy that every time at home. That's freaking amazing. Not kidding. I love that. And last but not least. Ready? This one is... This one is potato, sausage, and mayo. 
Oh, come on. We had to get mayo, right? We knew it would be Japanese mayo. We knew it would be delicious. I love the combination of, of potato and sausage. So why not? Max, why not? Come on. Come on, little fella. Come on. Come to oh, daddy. You nailed the cheesiness. Yeah. Really nice job. That's a nice looking piece of pizza. Potato. Sausage. Japanese mayonnaise. Mmm. Mmm. It's freaking great. It's freaking great. Do I like a pepperoni pizza? Hell yes. Do I need it all the time? Hell no. Would I order this? F yes. While we're waiting to get our Burger King, I have to show you something. Because this Burger King has, of all things, a smoking room. Oh, a smoking room. Uh, I don't even know what to think. Look, in the, look at the pile of ashtrays. Is this, you walk in, you, you get an ashtray, you go to your table, and then you eat, and you smoke. Because really, it's just about Burger King wanting to make their customers happy. It's about them being efficient. The whole Japanese culture is efficient. Look, you could walk up and say, oh, I'll have a uh, Whopper with um, some nicotine and a bucket of smoke, please. And they go, no, sir, you don't have to. You can just go to our smoking room and you eat. Our stuff ready. Burger King order. It's here. I'm going to start with um, this because it's melting. And I don't know what the F it is. I mean, I know what that is. It's melon soda. I have no idea what's on top. I don't know. But my fear is it's whipping cream. And I don't know why they would do that. So, let me just try and get a sip of this melon soda without this white gunk. Because it's freaking me out a bit. It's okay. I'm not a fan of sweet stuff. It's not that bad. I don't know if it tastes like melon. But this is... Oh! It's going to be ice cream. It's way too dense to be whipping cream. That's just delicious soft serve. Okay, that's good. If you just get this off the top, you're fine. Over. Next up, ready? Stand by for it. And it is a... What is it? It's not a nugget. It's, it's a it's a cheese ball. Let me see if I can open it this way. I don't know. It's like little bits of cheese. I don't know what that extra stuff in there is. I think it's potato. Like, I don't know if the outside's potato, but that mixed in. I think it's potato. It for sure needs salt. For sure. Okay, ready for this? We don't have these at home. Well, we don't have these at home at Burger King. And it is a... Ta-da! Hot dog! Huh. So, let's scope and... Pretty basic. Ketchup, mustard, relish. Can't go wrong there. You can go wrong, though, if it's a bad dog. So let's scope a bite. It's smoky. And it's got that, um, that snap when you bite it. Like it's a natural casing. And whether it is or not, however they've done it, that's actually the best part of it. I can eat that. That's no big deal. That's fine. It's quite good. Hold on. Two more things left. Ready for this one? This one is an onion ring. We have these at home. I'm just a sucker for an onion ring. Mm. It's a good onion ring, actually. I'll take an onion ring over a fry any day of the week. All right. Here's the big thing. 
and it's the Whopper. And yes, we all have Whoppers at home. It's flame grilled to perfection. But check out what the extra add in this is. It is not noticeable from the outside at all. Again, nothing like the picture. So I'm gonna have to lift it up. Clearly there's onion, tomato, lettuce. Now the real thing inside is shrimp. Mother The picture made it look like there was about 12 of them in there. So let's take a look. Four shrimp. So maybe what they did, watch what they do for their picture. I hate this, man. They do this. They post them all up at the edge like it's a freaking jailbreak. Then this shit goes back on top. Right there. I'm going to go look at the poster, man. If I see more than four shrimp, that's what the picture looks like. It's spicy shrimp. It's pretty good. It's actually not bad. The taste is pretty good like that. So I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool. Last thing, besides that onion ring, is a, a a matcha turnover. Matcha is just green tea, right? Oh, whoa. Didn't see that coming. No idea. Can't read any descriptions. Don't know. I asked, they just said matcha. So let's have a bite. Tastes like I'm eating green tea. I don't know what that white stuff is. I don't like it. It's not my thing. I can see it being popular here because matcha is everywhere. What I do like are onion rings. And I like this. The Whopper is good. The, the spiciness of, the, of whatever it is in there. The sauce. And the burger is good. So that's all right. We did okay. We did okay. It is fun to come get different stuff though, you know? Apart from onion rings, because these we got. 